today we're gonna introduce another food for our chickens, geese, even this ducks. There are three major stages in breeding your superworm. The first is the larva stage, and then the second is the pupa stage, and the third is the adult or this uh, beetle stage. You are also interested to know about the food. As you can see here, I have this pechay, this papaya, and even this chayote. I'm gonna tell you how this larva of this beetle can turn into pupa under this simple tricks. Hi guys, it's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. I'm enjoying under the heat of the sun. Because today we're gonna introduce another food for our chickens, geese, even this ducks and peacock. And I'm referring to the superworm. Yes, many of you have known already about the importance of the superworm. Our animals can get as much as 45% of protein out of the superworm. And just to let you see about how they like this one we will put this on the ground and you will witness how they gonna like this one especially the chickens so guys we will treat our chickens ducks and geese with a special food and you can see here that i have this super warm and this is one of the good sources of protein and you will see that they will like this one especially the chickens and you will also see that these worms are adult larvas of this, uh, you know, mealworms actually. And a little later, I would like to teach you how to breed this one. You know, this is very easy and quick to breed. Only if you are going to observe some steps, very important and practical steps, in order for you to become successful in your worm breeding. So now, we will give this to our chickens. I will just put it here and you will see what will happen. There are three major stages in breeding your superworm. The first is the larva stage, and then the second is the pupa stage, and the third is the adult or this uh, beetle stage. And these are the cycle of the life of this superworm. And you will be amazed that they are really very easy to breed and reproduce. And you can feed even thousands of chicken out of 1,000 breeders of the superworm. I'm gonna tell you how this larva of this beetle can turn into pupa under these simple tricks. So you have just witnessed how these superworms were like by our chickens. And actually not only chickens are eating this, they're also eaten by the ducks, the quails, and even the peacocks. And this is one of the best sources of protein because per study, and you can make a research out of this, the protein content of the superworms will reach up to 45 to 50%. And this is one of the solutions to our problem about the hatchability of the eggs. Well, in my experience, when we're gonna feed our chickens, geese, and ducks with superworms, the hatchability rate of the eggs are really that high. They can hatch up to 98 to 99 percent. 
I know that you are very eager enough now to know how to breed this kind of worm. Well, these are mealworms. These are actually famous in other countries and they are even eaten by human beings. They are calling this chicha worm. In some other places in the Philippines, they are eating this one. And this is delicious. And I have eaten myself this kind of worm. So you can see in front of me now thousands of larvae. And these are called worms. And this larva will turn into pupa if they're gonna be separated from each other. Yes, you heard it right. They have to be placed individually in separate containers before they will turn themselves into pupa. And another question maybe that you will ask is, how is the age that is ripe for us to separate them from hatch? You will wait until two months actually before this larva can grow adult and be ready to be placed individually in the containers. So you are also interested to know about the food. Well, they will become adult when they reach the age of two months old. But then the question is, what is the food for our larva? Well, the food are just readily available in the vicinity or even in the market. As you can see here, I have this pechay. And this pechay is one of the best sources of food for our larva of the superworms. Another one is this papaya. This papaya is also a very good source of food where they can eat the juice and, you know, they will grow fast. And even this chayote, you can see here. So what we're going to do is just to, you know, slice this one into half and that would be okay. Just like that. And then put that here inside the basin full of larva of this, you know, super warm. Just like that. And then that's it. Allow them to zip on the juice of these vegetables and they will really turn into a monster. And even this papaya, you can just, you know, half this one or slice into half, just like that. And then you leave that to the worm. And you will be amazed that in two, three or four hours, this will totally be consumed. And did you see this patola? This patola is also one of the best sources of food for our worms. And you will just, you know, slice this just like that and then just allow them to eat everything and they are actually like monsters in so far as you know the ability to to eat because they can consume everything and there are many other sources of food like this watermelon like this cabbage and every vegetables for that matter you can use that as the food for our worms Earlier, I mentioned about the containers. Of course, you will use this one. These are cups, actually, that are used in the kitchen. And as I can see here, these are hinge cup, meaning that they have their individual cover. And there is one process that we have to do before we can use this one. Of course, we will use the, we will use the heater. And this heater is actually an instrument for us to make a perfect hole as breather for our worms because if we will you know put the worm here inside and cover this one this will certainly die in just a single second or even a minute so to avoid death of our worm we have to make a breather so to make a breather is to you know just make some holes uh, on top of the cover and with the use of this heater, we can effectively make perfect holes, breathers for our worm. It's very important to select the most adult one. In the selection process, of course, the bigger one is the adult one and you cannot place two or three it should be one see that and i am now doing the process so we'll just cover that 
and then we can open this one and put another big worm for them to become pupa. See that? And this is now the process. So you will see that I'm using a very cheap material for this. It's just cost around 50 pesos for 100 pieces. So very cheap. And you can also use some other containers like the bottles of this medicine. You can use, actually there is no standard here. There is no standard container for that matter. But in my case, I find it very practical to use this one because it has already its own cover. And you will not worry about they can escape or they will, you know, be eaten by the rats because it's already covered. And one thing more, if you are doing this, you have to put this in a secluded area. You can put this in an area where they are so safe because there are predators that are really attracted to this worm. The number one are the ants. Number two are the lizards. And number three are the cats and even the rats, the dogs. They are actually disturbing the whole process. After this process, you will wait for at least two weeks before they can, they can become pupa. And then after the pupa, they will become beetles. So we will make an update about this. We cannot show you as of the moment what is the real result of this. But in our next vlog, future vlogs, I'm pretty sure that we can show you the process of transformation, actually, from larva to pupa and then to beetle. So we will make a series of video about this, this tutorial, because I wanted you to produce your own food for your chickens, ducks, and even other animals like the quails and even the rabbits are eating this one. So thank you guys for watching. If you are not subscribed to this channel, may I humbly ask you to please subscribe and hit that notification bell because we are uploading very informative videos on a regular basis. In fact, every two days. And if you will subscribe, of course, you will be notified of our future uploads. And I would like to see you in my next video only here at Dexter's World. Bye.